the atmosphere for a powerful morning. Welcome everyone. Welcome to our streamers. We are excited for today. It's, an, it's a special day. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you. We lift up your name, Father. We honor you. We are here to meet you and feel your presence, Father. Pour yourself out, Father, this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shoko para la case kerele ke sere de de de. Ha sakara la case kora la case ke. Fill the altars. Come on up. Hallelujah. Ha shoko ra la case kerele ke se. Ha mara la case ke. Ha ha. We call this a glory house, a powerhouse filled with the wonders, the miracles, the signs of the Lord. Hallelujah. We rejoice. Let everything that hath breath Praise the Lord. Shamara la case que releque. Ha pa shokora la case que releque de de de. Ha shora la cane ne 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 ne. Ho na mara la case que releque. Ho saka para la case que. Ha 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 ha. We declare this is a victory day. Ha ha shokora la case que. Ho saka para la Oh, hallelujah. The strongest army. Hallelujah. The army of the Almighty God rising up. We are marching. We are charging the spirit. Oh, breaking chains. Resurrecting power available. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise the name of Jesus. Ha, 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 ha. Fill this place, Lord. Fill this place, Father. Oh, we're here to receive. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, the outpouring. Oh, showers of blessing. Showers of rain. Jesus name. We are not downhearted. Ha 
calling every need met, every need met in Jesus' name. No lack, ha ha, abundance and no lack. Hasho kora la kaseke pereleke, ha mara la kaseke. We serve the God of more than enough. Hallelujah, exceeding power available in us. We tap into it. It goes with us wherever we go. We praise you, God. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, we call you holy. We call you mighty. We call you royal father. Majesty. What a great God. What a great God. Oh, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shona mara la kase ke he 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 he. Ha shokora la kase ke releke. Ha ne me releke. Ho she ke releke he 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 he. Ha mara la kane ne ne ne. Ho ra pase ke releke. Ho ra la kase ke. Moving forward, moving forward, forward motion. Ha se ke releke at all times. Ha ne me releke. We are not stagnant. We're reaching. We're stretching. We're soul winning. We're sharing the gospel. We are saving souls. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shoko para la kaseke. We are anointed. Ha mara la kasho korele kere de de de. Ha mara la kaseke rele kene ne 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 ne. Ha mara la kase he 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 he. Oh, rejoicing is in our lips. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, reke he 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 he. We have a cheerful heart. Ha shoko para la kasaka ha. We are cheerful givers. And God blesses us. He takes pleasure in us. We walk the straight and narrow road. Praise you, God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Ha ne me rele kere de 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 de. Ha ma shokora la kase. Ha se ke perele ke se kerele ke. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Ho ra ma ra la kase kerele kere de de de. Ha ma ra la kase kerele ke. Ho sa ma ra la kase kerele ke. What a great and powerful God. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. Creator of all the earth, ho shaka paralaka, ho you see everything, no thing is left behind. Hamaralaka se kereleke she kereleke, ho saka paralaka se kereleke, ho sana maralaka ne mereleke re de de de, ho shana maralaka se kereleke. We believe your word, Father. We believe. Your word, we believe the report of the Lord. Ha 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 ha. If the Lord says I'm healed, then I'm healed. Ha shokora la kase ke he he he. Hallelujah. If the Lord says I'm blessed going in, I'm blessed going out, then that's the way it needs to be. Ha shekere le kase ke he 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 he. No matter the circumstance. I will not be moved. I will not be shaken. Oh, I tread on serpents. 
ha 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 oh sometimes we just have to laugh ha ha when we don't even want to hallelujah hallelujah hey hey amara la casa corre le que se que hora la casa que re le que ha hey ho sho corre la casa que hora la casa que re le que ha se que he 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 ho sa corre la casa que he 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 ha ma sho corre la casa que per le que se que ha na mara la casa que re le que Oh, Ramara la Kasoko, Haseke, the same God. Oh, He never changes. Hallelujah! It's the same God. Oh, that raised Jesus from the dead. That raises my circumstances up from the dead. In Jesus' name, Hamara la Kasoko, Rala Kaseke. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Shokora la Kaseke, Rele. We speak life. We speak life unto dead bones in Jesus name. Shokora laka, marriages restored, lives being healed. Hora laka se, addicts leaving those addictions in Jesus name. Shonama laka se ke perele ke se ke, hane merele ke so kora laka se ke rele ke. We call back prodigals in Jesus name. They belong to us. Oh, because when I was saved, they were saved in Jesus' name, according to Acts 13, 16, in Jesus' name. They belong to me. They belong to God. We will see it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ha shokora la kase kere le kese ke. We praise you God. We praise you Jesus. Oh, there's nothing too difficult for you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, shokora la kase ke. We are here to rejoice. Ha 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 ha. A mighty champion. An undefeated champion. Hamara la kaso kora la kase ke releke. Hamara la kaso kora la kase ke releke. Hamara la kaso roloko se ke pereleke. Oh, ha ha! What a mighty God! What a mighty God! Shona mara la ka. Oh, you rescue, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus for rescuing our, our friends, our loved ones, our family members. Thank you for rescuing us. We give you honor and praise, Father. Hallelujah, glory be to your name. Hora para la casa, oro lo cose que perele que se que releque. Hora la la la. Oh, we delight in you, Father. We delight in your house. We delight in your word. Oh, shaka para la ca have us, Father. Ha se ne ne ne. Have your way in us. Samara la kase kerele kerele kese kerele ke. Hamara la kaso kora la kase ke perele kerele. Hanamara la kaso kora la kase ke. Ho sana mara la ka hasa ke pe he se ke pe. Hashona mara la kase kerele ke. Ho shakara la kase kerele ke. You're always in forward moving motion, Father. Even if we can't see it, Father. We know you are working. We thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Just lift hands of praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 How great and wonderful you are. Sona mara la kase ke perele ke seke in Jesus name.
Everybody. Good to see everybody in church today. Take your seats for a moment. Praise God. We're going to be doing some things a little different. That's all right, right? All right. So, can I just begin by saying, happy 20th anniversary. Pretty, pretty cool. 20 years ago, they uh, told us if you make it six months, it would be a miracle. And because I know the whole story, they were right. They were right. If we made it six months, it would have been a miracle. But somehow we went to seven months and went on to eight. And so many st stood with us, kept with us, kept fighting with us. And then a year went by. And then two. And then three, and then more folks came after the, you know, there was the battles and the initial things that took place. Most things were worse than anybody knew. Hey, most things, I never even told my wife. I didn't want her to know. But we're still standing here today, and today is going to be a celebration day. In the name of Jesus, and I'm excited about that. So, um, I'm gonna take, can I tell you a couple things? Yes. Right now, I'll tell you some more in just a minute. I'm going to tell you a couple things, since we're doing things a little different. Um, for starters, I want you to enjoy today, because they're going to rock the flock kind of deal, you know? <laughs> um, but I get it. Everybody's different. Some people like this. Some people don't like this. Some people like the other thing, and so on and so forth. But you can get, you're the flock. You get rocked. That's the way it's going to work today. It's going to be, if, it's, if you don't want it to be your party, it's going to be mine. So I'd rather you just get in here with me and have a good time, and let's go after this, and let it be the best uh, launch to the next 20 years Amen. or until the trumpet sounds, which I believe will happen Amen. before the 20 years, of course. So we're ready for that to happen. Amen. Amen. What you don't know, and I'm not going to tell you much now, but what you don't know is the price that our family paid personally to make this work. The battles that you never saw, the harassment, the attacks, the goofy stuff, all the bizarre things that came our way um, wow but we didn't lose our family either That's right. Amen. and our family is still serving God now some of them are serving God in other places now but they're still serving God all my kids and grandkids are in the house of the Lord today and so I'm going to ask my youngest son to come and update us on some announcements in Jesus name Woo! welcome Graham Gatlin What is going on, Integrity Christian Center? 20 years. All right, let's do the focus verse for the month of May. All right, we got one. We got one. On three, ready? Good night, people. Come on. 20 years. Show some excitement. Come on. Here we go. On a count of three. One, two, three. All right. Our focus book for the month of May is Galatians. Read that 10 times or more in addition to your daily Bible reading. And those of you who did April, please call the office so you can get your certificate. Faith School will resume on May 8th. Sundays at 8 a.m., we're still doing Faith for Today. <laughs> Closer than ever, Sundays, 10 a.m. Sorry, I'm rolling through these, man. I want to hear the music. We're just, we're just going to have to blow through these. Sorry. The Holiness Factor, Friday, 730. 
Man, when you guys heard the music part, you guys just really jumped in there. 20 years of Integrity Christian Center. <clears throat> we have a 20-year uh, banquet that we will be doing Sunday the 15th at 5 p.m. Mark your calendars. Sunday best, not your Saturday morning best, okay? I know some of you people. Step it up. 20 years, okay? We will be catering, so in the information station, if you could stop by and get your info uh, there, you have to pay by the 8th, which is next Sunday. Everybody say next Sunday. Next Sunday. Pay by the 8th. Okay. <laughs> kids are welcome, and there will be a kids menu, just so you know. Sunday, May 15th at 10 a.m. is Pastor Ken Harbaum. Oh, and guess what? May 29th, Dr. Mark Barclay. You thought we were done with just this morning. We're not. We might carry this through through June. We don't know. May birthdays. Boy, that's cut a little short from April, huh? <laughs> Need like a long list to read that. So April birthdays, if you're a member, see the uh, Holy Grounds, get yourself free coffee or pastry. Amen? All right, let's rock the flock. Praise God. Amen. Well, the word is still working. Anybody have the word working for them? Grab your Bible with me for a minute. I'm not going to preach. <laughs> <What? Yeah. laughs> You've heard that before, I take it. All right, that's a lousy attitude. Man, it's just going to receive the tithes and offerings. And you, you go at it with me. I don't understand it. Luke 6, 46. Luke 6, 46. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is your day. You might as well get it and enjoy it. Hallelujah. Might as well get everything you can. Luke 6, 46, the words of Jesus. It says here in verse 46, And why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Man, that's a good question. It was a good question then. Why are you calling me Lord, but you won't do anything I tell you? How many have Jesus as your Lord and you do what he tells you? All right, about a third of you, about a third of you. We'll have an altar call here in a little while. We'll get this straightened out. He said, why do you call me Lord, but you won't do what I say? Watch the next verse. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them. See, a lot of people come to Jesus and hear what he says. They just don't carry it through to the next level, which is doing what they hear him say. Amen. But he said, I will show you to whom he's like. He's like a man that built a house and digged deep. Everybody say dig deep. Dig deep. If you're going to put your family in a house, wouldn't you want them in a house that's going to last, not that's going to fall down upon their heads? Well, what about your life? What about your walk with the Lord? Don't you want to dig deep and have a life that is built solid? Yes. So he said, this person that comes to him, hears the word, does the word. It's like a man building his house or his life, digging deep, laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose and the stream beat vehemently upon it, great. No, I'm sorry. It could not shake it. Why? found it on a rock 49 but he that heareth and doeth not they're both christians they both came to jesus both heard the word but only one did it the one who didn't do it let's look at their life but he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great. Great. It fell apart. Why? They didn't do the word. They didn't live the word. How many doers of the word do we have in church today? Now listen, I've told this story before, but I remember sitting with my Bible, meditating this passage. It's a passage I heard my whole life. 
from childhood, growing up in Sunday school, then my teen years, and then my adult years, and I'm sitting here as an adult meditating this verse, or these verses, and feeling quite confident about knowing what it said. And the Lord said, you don't have it yet. You ought to stay with something until the Lord tells you you're done there now. So I said, what do you mean, Lord? And I went back over it. He said, you're not seeing it all. Go back over it. And I went back over it. And I went back over it. And I went back over it. Seems pretty simple. One guy heard the word. One guy didn't hear the word. I mean, they both heard the word. One guy did it. The other guy didn't. What am I missing? So I kept going after it. I kept going after it. And then I noticed that the storms were different. And I'd never noticed it before. Because the doer of the word, it says in verse 48, had both a flood and a stream and could not be shaken. In other words, he had something huge come against their life. Some small things come against their life. Couldn't be shaken. But in 49, the person who didn't do the word did not have a flood. There's no mention of a flood, just a stream. And it wiped them out. When you don't do the word of God, the smallest things can wipe you out. The enemy can stir up the smallest things to mess up your life and tear everything up. I'm asking you, as we're celebrating 20 years today, be doers of the word of God, not just hearers only. Build your foundation strong and let's get our lives to where no matter what comes, no matter what the devil does, no matter what the communists do, come on. No matter what evil inspired politicians do, we could not be shaken because we live the word, do the word, and act on the word. Somebody shout amen today. Amen. We've lasted 20 years because people were faithful tithers. Some of you that had the privilege of coming after the 20 years, you know, 19 years, 18 years. Some of you are celebrating 10 years. You've been with us about 10 years now, some seven years, five years. Well, we were still here because faithful people were tithing during that whole time. And so today we're going to receive the holy tithes and offerings. We're going to start May off right. Now, towards the conclusion of the service today, we're going to receive an offering for David and the Giants. But right now, this is our tithes and offerings, and I'm going to encourage everybody to participate. So ushers, if you'll help me, please come forward and distribute the tithe and offering envelopes. If you need an envelope, raise your hand. You can make your checks payable to Integrity Christian Center or ICC. You can give by credit card by using the inside flap of the envelope. Also on your screen is information about text to give, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. If you're streaming with us, and I know a lot of people are streaming from all over the country today. Um, our other kids are streaming today because obviously they have their own ministries elsewhere, but they are streaming this service today. Send their greetings, by the way, to you, Brother David. They wish they were here, but I know many other people family and friends and people who just have connected to us in the last few years of streaming. What do you do if you need to give your tithes and offerings and you're streaming? Go to our webpage, integritytoday.org. Hit the give button. It transfers you to a secure PayPal page. You can present your tithes and offerings that way as well. All right? Give everybody a couple moments to fill out your envelopes, write your checks. You can give by cash. We're still, we still take cash. I know we're not a lot of places to do anymore, but... As long as it said legal tender, we're going to just go ahead and keep doing that too. So, amen. In just a moment, the ushers will come forward with the offering containers. They'll bring them to the altars. And then when you are ready, bring your tithes and offerings to the altar and present them to the Lord Jesus. Amen.
Stand with me. If you haven't come forward yet, you still need to do so. You can do so as we pray. Heavenly Father, we present to you the holy tithes and offerings. We worship you with them. We thank you that we are lives that have been changed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we want to keep the work of God moving forward. We want to keep this church functioning and operating and reaching and teaching and changing lives. And so, Father, we humbly present the holy tithes and offerings to you. And we thank you, Father God, that according to the word of God, the windows of heaven are opened above our life. And you're pouring out blessings we don't even have room enough to receive. I thank you, Father, that you rebuke the devourer for our sakes. We thank you for divine protection in our life that God is our shield, that he gets between us and trouble. And for these things, we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take your seats. Pastor Brenda, come forward just for a moment. Hallelujah. Did you, we might need to get a mic. I think it's my hand. Here we go. What am I on? Black? Yes, sir. Here we go, babe. Good morning to you. Good morning. I didn't want to get into May without giving you an opportunity to greet the people. Oh, good morning. Praise God. It's so good to see you. Amen. Here to join us. 20 years celebration. Amen. Praise God. I remember when we did our 10 year uh, anniversary celebration and Brother David Huff was with us and we had such an awesome time in the spirit. And here we are. Where did the last 10 years go? <laughs> goodness but I'm thrilled that you're here to celebrate with us 20 years is an awesome awesome place to finally be amen. amen and I'm just so thankful for the families that that God has blessed throughout the years and all the amazing healings and the the precious dear people that God has touched touched their lives their hearts their minds their families amen can I get a big amen amen praise God praise God well, 20 years, we fought hard to get here, and I'm so glad to be here. Um, when we talked about all that we wanted to do for 20 years celebration, we knew David Huff had to be part of it. Hallelujah. And um, so then we got to thinking, well, I got to thinking, we've never had the whole band. <laughs> now, I already knew David was nice, <laughs> but I was going to take a chance on those other three. <laughs> But these guys are the most, these are true blue Christians, I got to tell you. I'm going to help you get to your seat real quick. Oh, thank you. I'm about to do an introduction. And I know how this was going to go if I don't get you down there. So, <laughs> all right. So, we decided, well, let's have David and the Giants. And just that will kick off our 20 years. And let them just, you know, hey, we got a 24-foot roof. They could still blow the roof off. We don't know. But we're just going to go ahead and let them do it. Uh, these guys are a mo uh, just awesome guys. I just want you to know that. They're true Christians. They, they, two of them are pastoring churches. These guys are the real deal. And uh, I'm so blessed that they would be here. A couple things I want to tell you. This is our party day. And I know it's a different kind of service. I get that. Um, but can I tell you something? Two things. Two things. I'm done. I'll, I'll get off the stage. I know that's what the desire of your heart is. Two things. Have you ever been to a birthday party and the weird uncle showed up? <laughs> Maybe it was a weird aunt. I don't know, but a weird uncle shows up. And it's somebody else's party, but weird uncle is weird as can be. And it's somebody's five-year-old birthday. Hey, sit down, Uncle Weird. <laughs> Nobody knows that uncle. How many raise your hand and say, okay, I know. But you, how many can't raise their hand because they, they're in here? Maybe I'm the weird uncle. I don't know now that I thought about it. But we're going to have a great time, and I want you to have a good time. As long as you're doing nothing that makes us watch you instead of enjoy what the Lord's doing to minister through these guys, we're good. So you ready for this? Will you stand one more time? Can you give a 20? Wait, wait were you talking to me, young lady? I did the second thing. The, second th the first thing was, don't be the weird uncle. <laughs> and the second thing was, don't do anything that draws attention to you instead of Jesus. Amen. We don't want to do that. 
but I want you to give a 20th anniversary ICC celebration hand to our guests, David and the Giants. I love you. Have a good time. Love you guys. Hallelujah, everybody. I feel like I'm home. I really do. And thank you for making us feel at home. Pastor Kenny, I sure love you and Sister Brenda. Y'all are precious people. And what a precious church. You folks are incredible. Uh, I, I don't want y'all to stand up unless y'all just really want to stand up. So, but I appreciate you all so much for for welcoming us to this great celebration. 20 years. Hallelujah. And until Jesus comes, the devil ain't got no place around here. Because I believe he's uh, so sensitive to the Holy Ghost and to the Word of God that he'll count you out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I'm amongst the presence of God. And I'm amongst some incredible brothers. The, the, uh, two are my natural brothers, and they're also my spiritual brothers. And this, this guy back here on the drums, he's just like my natural brother. We've been together for many years. And had it not been for him, I may not be here today. But thank God for I, I'm going to introduce him after a little bit. Y'all probably already know who he is, but uh, the most important thing here today is that we know who he is. Hallelujah. Well, I got a good friend that drove all the way from Merced. Now that's a long way. And uh, Brother Ron, we welcome you and your, your sons today. God bless you. We got Jason and Hope. I'll let my brother Claiborne introduce them and his lovely wife. And uh, I'm trying to look, find my wife because she's our sound person. That... Oh, there you are. Uh, she works our sound on a, a little iPad. Isn't that incredible? And uh, we want to thank the staff here, Floor, and just everyone that's been so incredible on uh, I could go on and on because th this church is so blessed with kindness and and just thoughtfulness and I love every one of you and uh, some of y'all are thinking okay I got it go ahead and uh, get on with it <laughs> were y'all thinking that no, me, no. well I was brought up a few years ago something like that and uh, I went to this excited church out there in Laurel Mississippi and it's a long story in itself, so I'm not going to go there. But it was so exciting, and uh, I, I was kind of, I was brought up, you know, just sitting all the time. And, and when uh, the preacher would say, uh, you know, his prayer and say, you're now dismissed, it was like, whew, I didn't think I was ever going to get over with. But when I got in this particular church, it was like, man, I can't believe it's that late. We had so much fun. Uh, and so we want you to have a good time because we're having a party here celebrating 20 years. Somebody shout hallelujah one time. Here you go. something inside Though I can see with my eyes It's something more real than life It is the Spirit of God Don't 
try to figure it out The devil will make you down Me go and let God be God Get ready for the wind and fire Somebody move Give me some space Give me a little room to dance in just in case When the Holy Ghost falls He can land anywhere It could be over here or maybe over there The windows are open wide Just let your heart be your guide The floodgates wait for the sign For him and in the to collide The price is already paid The prayers has already been prayed It's time to lift up the name And give the Lord a shout Praise. Somebody move, give me some space, give me a little room to dance in just in case. When the Holy Ghost falls, he can land anywhere, he could be over here or maybe over there. I can't stop praising Him, He's done so much for me, every day I love Him, love Him more. He set me free indeed, He broke the chains for me, never going back where I was before. I can't stop praising Him, He's done so much for me, every day I love Him, love Him more. He set me free indeed, He broke the chains for me. Never going back where I was before Somebody move Give me some space Give me a little room to dance in just in case When the Holy Ghost falls, He can land anywhere He could be over here or maybe over there oh, 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 oh. Somebody, somebody move hey. Give me a little room right now Woo. I feel something going on Some 
Some say I'm right, some say I'm wrong Others tell me I'm crazy But if you could feel the Spirit of God It comes within your heart and soul Oh, it's not a dream We're all on the right train Just like the prophet Joel said it would be Oh, Praise y'all. Hallelujah. Y'all may be seated. I got to fix something real quick, but uh, while I'm fixing that something real quick, I want to introduce you to uh, someone very special over here to me. Actually, we changed. My brother used to be over there, and he was over there. These are twins in case you don't recognize. Hey, it used to be a funny thing in, in, the, in the world that we came from. Well, we're still here, but yet... We're in another kingdom now, thank the, the Lord. But I remember that, um, you know, in the places that we would play, they'd drink a whole lot. And at the end of the night, you, you could see some guys, lady folks looking up on the stage, and these two look so much alike, you could, you could read what they were saying in their mind. I've been drinking way too much. I'm seeing double. But I thank God today for my brother, Clayburn Huff, on the bass guitar. I like to say it's a, it's a treat to be here for the 20-year anniversary, and y'all have a special pastor. You know, my, my brother David said, you're going to really love this pastor when you meet him, and, uh, and I agree with that. I appreciate you very much. And You know, uh, God is a faithful God, isn't he? And, and one thing I found out about the Lord is his word is the truth, and what he says, he really does mean it. And, and sometimes it takes a while for us to realize that, but it, it really does mean that. But anyway, um, when we came to the Lord in 1977, somebody wasn't born at that time, but, uh, but that's when we came to the Lord in 1977. We've been playing in the nightclubs for a long time, and the Lord got a hold of our lives and uh, changed us from darkness to light. But, it, but I'm not going to get into the 
stories of all the bad things we did, but we did a lot of bad things, but thank God he saw us from the very beginning and he chose us. We didn't choose him, but he chose us from the foundation of the world. So anyway, when, uh, when the Lord called me, me and my twin, we were, we were living, we actually started, we, we were living at the same place together for a while there. And I'm not going into the details of what happened to me uh, about some bad things that happened in my life. Get me to the point where my twin brother came in to the house to help me out through a depression and things like that going through. And so anyway, uh, uh, we uh, came to the Lord. It was supernatural how, how the Lord did this. Uh, I wasn't serving God and wasn't thinking about God, even though little Ricky had, had come to the Lord. And, and my brother David was talking about the Lord, and he just mentioned something to the twin. He said, you know, it's more the Bible than what people have told us. And uh, so by that, he just threw it off like it doesn't do that. So we were at the house together, and and by this time I had this girl to move into the house with me. I told you I was sinner before. I was a Paul said he was a chief of all sinners. I, I think I was I ranked in up in that area too. So so anyway, uh, we were. Uh, I was going through the room one night. I was going through the room, and my twin was on the couch. He was. He found something on, on the bookshelf. I, I never knew it was there, but it was there. I think we picked it up at eight days in. They had those Bibles you could pick up. <laughs> I guess somebody picked it up and brought it to the house. So anyway, he was just thumbing through it, and he, 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 found, he found something, a scripture. I'm not sure where it was, but it, it, it talked to him, and it was telling him that his brother, twin brother, was living in sin with that girl there. So... When I was walking through the room, he said, let me read you something out of the Bible. I said, man, I don't want to hear that. I really didn't. So he said, no, let me read you something out of the Bible. Now, he was over there smoking a joint and drinking a little bit, <laughs> getting into the Word. <laughs> and so uh, it amazed him that he couldn't understand it. Because you know, first time he ever read one. And uh, so I thought to myself, I'll let him read me a scripture out of the Bible and get him off my back, and I'll go my way. That was my thinking. So I sat down beside him. He read me one scripture out of the word of God, and he spoke it. And the Lord spoke to the, That word hit my heart. When it did, God spoke to me audibly. He said, just as unfaithful as your wife was to you, so are you to me. So you can imagine what that would do to your heart. It exploded in my heart. I got up, didn't let him know it affected me. I went to the other room and I fell on my knees and I started praying. And I felt a power coming on me. I didn't know what it was. It was the Spirit of God. So I walked in the room where he was. And I was shaking. I was crying. He'd never seen me like that. He jumped up and he said, You want me to take you to the doctor? <laughs> and I was, I said, no. I said, we got to turn to sin. And we got to, I'm not sure what word I'd use, but we got to make her like a sister. That's what I meant, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, we, we started being on fire for the Lord, and we had to go our separate ways. She wasn't ready to serve God. So anyway, uh, the Lord led us to an all-black church there in Mississippi, and it was the most beautiful people there. And, and we'd never been in a spirit-filled church before. And we went in there. We were going around different churches. and to, uh, We were going to get baptized. We were going to different places. And we finally went and found somebody that would baptize us. And it was an all-black church, they said. Yeah, and it was at 12 o'clock. It was almost 12 o'clock. And, and, and usually churches get out before that. The churches we went to when we were little got out a lot earlier than that. <laughs> but uh, I, I said, he said, I said, let's go in there. We, we went a different way than we would usually go home. And we went to the, this place to the town, and I said, there's a church right there. Let's, let's ask them how they baptized. He said, if we go in there, they're going to be coming out. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's almost 12. I said, let's just go in anyway. 
we'd already been to a church at Nazarene. They almost put us to sleep. So we were... <laughs> And we, and we stayed up all night to go to a church. We had played in Florida, and we just got back. And so we, we were that hungry for God. So anyway, we, we went in there, and we opened the door. And to our surprise and their surprise, it was an all-black church. And they said, we asked them if they would baptize us. They said, come on in. You found church. <laughs> found home. And uh, <laughs> praise God. So anyway, it was, I guess it was in the springtime that later on that they took us out to a little pond. And I remember them farmers on top of the hill up there plowing, looking down and seeing us get all around it. <laughs> and they were singing a hymn, and, and I was saying, we better get this over with quick. <laughs> but thank God, Mississippi's changed. It really has. I want y'all to know that. The, the people in the world try to make it feel like everybody is prejudiced, but they're not. That's just the media trying to discourage and draw people away from one another. But that's not the truth at all. From Mississippi, I tell you that. That's the truth. But anyway, uh, my twin brother, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of this testimony real quick. I'm almost there. <laughs> so anyway, my twin brother was, was uh, he had a dream, and his dream was that the Lord was speaking to him not to get married. So in 77, I, I thought, well, it'd be hard for him to hold that commitment. So I made a commitment with him not to marry. I did. So I, we lived a, I call it a cel celebrous life. <laughs> How do you call it? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> for from that point up to what year was it? This year we got married in 92. I'm going to get in trouble right now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's, it was, uh, I stayed unmarried for, and, and I didn't date. I didn't think about nobody. All I thought about was the word of God and, and, and be, being led by the spirit. Keeping your mind fasting and praying and seeking God. Keeping your mind on tune, in tune. But after that time, I think it was about 14 or 15 years without being married, without thinking about being married. All of a sudden, I, I started becoming miserable. I felt like I had to get married. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, I was just, and, and, uh, so anyway, it was a loneliness. It was a real loneliness that I had. And, it just, and then I had a dream, and, and it was the Lord giving me a dream. And it, he was telling me that he was giving my release papers. And I got the interpretation. <laughs> but anyway, this this uh, little redhead started coming to church with us. And uh, I wasn't thinking about her, but she had already told her mother and daddy that she felt like it was the Lord's will for me and her to get married. Even though I was a little bit older than she is. Just a little bit. But anyway... Uh, I'm sure when we got married, some people walk, was walking, when they see me, me and her walking down, I bet they said, how in the world did he get her? <laughs> but anyway, uh, we got married. And, uh, but before, I, I'll just explain this a little bit before we went down. I, when I found out that she was, was interested in me, I, I started talking to her at church, and I said, and then, She's going to go down there, and she's going to cook supper for me. So I, I was really excited. I went down there to eat supper with her. And, and before I went that night, I had a dream, and the Lord told me in his dream, he said, how much more would your heavenly Father give good things? I was praying about her if this was God's will for me to marry her. He said, he gave me a word, how much more would your, he your heavenly Father give good things to those who love him. And he was telling me that she is a good thing for you. And that's how I understood that. And when, I, when he speaks to me in a dream, I automatically wake up. I woke up. And, and then I knew it was from God. So anyway, when we went, got through eating, she burnt the supper, but that was all right. And uh, she was excited as I was. 
So anyway, uh, after we, we got, got to eat, and I said, Let, let's go for a ride. So I took her to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> but we were too excited to eat, I guess. So we sat down, and I just want to talk anyway. And on, on our way back to her house, I said, well, well, we might as well set that date for our marriage. <laughs> And uh, I didn't ask her to marry me. I just asked her, let's set a date for the marriage. And I, I knew since she'd been praying about it, and, I didn't, I, I, and I've been waiting all these years for, <laughs> for a wife, I might as well go ahead and not go through this dating thing. <laughs> but anyway, praise God. She's, we got married. And, uh, and after that, I, I had a, a, we had a, our first child. It was a, a boy, and we named him Clay because I saw it written in lights, C L A Y. So I, so I named him Clay. And then, three years later, she got pregnant again. Three years. And um, we, uh, for Clay, we didn't go to the, we didn't have no sonogram. We we didn't know, but I, I knew the Lord had spoke to me. His name Clay. So. I kept saying, Clay is on the way. <laughs> and so when he, after he was born, then to, then when we did get a son ground for her next pregnancy, I was sitting in, I was in there when they was doing that thing with it on his stomach, you know. They said, there's one, there's two, <laughs> there's three. And they looked over at me and I was sitting down. <laughs> We had triplets. Yeah, praise God. Amen. And we named them Faith, Hope, and Charity. Thank you. And then a lot of people say, you'd quit then, didn't you know? We, had, we I felt that like we had to have some joy in our lives. So we had another child. We named her Joy. So, so anyway... We've been married now for how many years now? The 30 years. We just had a 30 year anniversary. Sister, you want to stand so everybody can see you? Get ready. Don't nobody say, How did he get her? <laughs> that was the Lord. Stand, sissy, if you don't mind. And, <laughs> and we praise God. And we have a daughter of the Faith, Hope, and Charity. Hope is here. And, Hope and Jason, and uh, we just found out that we're going to have a daughter coming soon. They're getting ready to have a, so we're going to be grandparents. Hope you and Jason stand for your light. Well, let's let people see my hope. Would y'all mind saying? <laughs> Now, I'm supposed to introduce the song, is that right? Now, I don't even know what song we're going to do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, we got saved. I'm thanking God for that. We're going to do a save. <laughs> I'd like to tell you all my story now. <laughs> hey, every bit of what you just heard wasn't fabricated. That's the real deal. And I thank God for my wonderful family. Hallelujah. And you're part of that family too. Uh, that is, if you're saved, you got to be in the family. And I believe God's going to do some great things with this church. You're a lighthouse in this community. You really are. Once you turn your next door neighbor say, I'm saved. Mama told me, better wiser There's a book of men trying to steal your soul There was something inside me Telling me my name Save and been redeemed. I've been. 
Tell them how I feel It's out of man's control It's like furniture in my bones It's like fire in my bones It's like fire in my bones To tell you, tell them how I feel. It's out of man's control. It's like fire in my bones. It's like fire in my bones. It's like fire in my bones. Maybe she has this next song if you want to now, but you have liberty here. Thank you, Jesus. There was an old song back in the day called uh, Have I Told You Lately That I Love You? Uh, have I told you lately that I love y'all? I sure want through my lifetime that I'm remembered as he really means what he says. He really loves. I don't meet a stranger. And that's the way my two brothers and I and Keith too. That's the way we are. We're always looking for somebody that's looking for somebody and that somebody is Jesus. There was an elderly lady in the church where we were brought up in Laurel, Mississippi. Uh, she was elderly, but she remembered to say these words to us that stuck with us all through the years. And she would shake her little finger at us. Don't you ever forget. It doesn't matter where you go. If it's just a God bless you, say something about the Lord. And I find myself more and more wanting to tell people, about this somebody named Jesus. And I feel really with all my heart. We hear a lot of horror stories about California. Back, you know, my wife and I, we now live in Missouri. We moved from Mississippi to Charlotte, North Carolina, to Georgia. And now we're, we're where we're going to be. And Jesus is coming soon. I really believe that. And I want to see as many people as I, I can there because I don't want nobody lost but I said all that to say this we saw a lot of folks yesterday Keith took us on a tour of you know where he was brought up and showed us where he spent a lot of his time with uh, Desi and, and uh, I, I remember her name was it Lucy and, and he spent a lot of time there because he was just like their son and to see all the beauty of of California. It's really beautiful here. 
and he took us down there to the farmer's market. And as we went around, I got to tell you something. Uh, California is not they, what they portray on the media either. There's a lot of folks that's hungry for what we're sensing right here, right now. And maybe, just maybe, all it's going to take is a God bless you. You never know. It just takes a small seed. Hallelujah. As we journey through, the, through this life, my wife and I, there's something always that we need. Always something that we need. And the Bible says the Lord shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. And so, beyond all of that, the real thing that matters the most in this lifetime is seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the other stuff will be added unto us. I continually tell my heart, my mind, and my spirit to seek ye first because that's, in the end, all that's really going to matter. Can I get a witness, y'all? About a place where I'll never grow old With a lamb and lion We lay down to sleep I got my focus and I'm keeping it straight It won't be long I see the pearly gates Swinging open wide Lord open my eyes Cause all that matters All that matters When I see Sitting on your throne I'm in a hurry and I'm slowly getting there It won't be long, I'm flying in the air New Jerusalem Lord, here I am You're all that matters All that matters When I see you Sitting on your throne
Aren't you glad you gave the Lord your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength? Hallelujah. Stay close to thee Sheltered by your love and arms Where the winds will never bother me I can't make it by myself alone Take this part of me to Lord and make it your home Here's my heart Here's my soul just something only you can hold You're the one who was true When my life seemed it was through Here is a peace that you were always missing Savior, here's my heart is an island Remember you are not your own We were purchased by the price of love More precious than a diamond stone Lord I know you will handle with care Everyone that's been hurt and is needing repair my heart, here's my soul, here's something only you can hold, you're the one who was true, when my life seemed it was true, here is a peace that you were always missing, Savior, here's my heart. And I praise you with my lips But Lord, you always do What was kept so far from you Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to introduce someone else to you. Uh, first, I'd like to say my wife, Twyla, is here today, and she's a little, my daddy used to say, she's a little timid. That means bashful. She's a little bashful, but uh, Sissy stood up. She's bashful, too. So why don't you stand up, Twyla? That's right. And we have another family member with us that came all the way from Indiana, Nancy Johnson. God bless you. 
your family. And uh, on the drums, I'd like, I, I like to hear him say a few words because you never know what he's going to say, but it's always good. <laughs> Except when he tells my wow story. Okay, but anyway, the former Little Ricky of the I Love Lucy show, my brother, Keith Thibodeau on the drums. Praise the Lord. We just, let me thank you, sister, and Graham, everybody. Too many people to mention here. There's so many great things that God's doing in our lives just being here. I mean, it's such a sweet place to be. Um, I grew up here in California, of course. Uh, if I was on that show, the Isle of Lucy show, I had to be here. So... <laughs> I, I, did, I grew up in the, in, the, in the San Fernando Valley and um, went to school there from first, before first grade to about a sophomore in high school. Um, thank you very much. Just, we are not playing here. Who is that? Let's find, let's find out who that is. It might be uh, the president. I don't know. Uh, Brother Spitzer, the uh, pastor for the back. Okay. Praise the Lord. Rayburn's always getting these calls from pastors across the, the country, but it's cool that, that we have such a big body of Christ and that we can serve him in any way and all across the nation. But anyway, I was on that show, and um, how many people have seen the Al Lucy show? How many people have seen Andy Griffith's show? I was on that show, too, a little bit, and I, I really enjoyed playing on both of those shows. I got to, uh, to be on the Isle of Lucy show because I was able to play the drums at an early age. Uh, actually, two years old, I started on trash cans in Louisiana, which is where I was born, and uh, went on to um, play a, a snare drum and then went on to win a talent contest, which brought me to the, to the L.A. area. And so I auditioned for the Isle of Lucy show. Um, Lucy was there. She was standing there looking at me and saying, well, he's cute, but what does he do? And uh, you have to do a trick or something. And so the, my dad said he plays the drums. And so he, she, she, uh, she said, well, there's a set of drums over there our orchestra drummer has. And so just let him play on that. So I went over there and started playing on those drums. And uh, all the crew guys started coming around and checking me out. There's this little boy who could tear up the drums. And then Desi finally came up, and Ricky Ricardo. And he came and started jamming with me on the, on the set, on the toms, and uh, just uh, stood up and laughed at one point and said, I, I think we found little Ricky. So at that point, th they had interviewed about 200 little boys, and I got the part. I signed to a seven-year contract with them and then went on to, uh, to be on that show for, for the last four years until they were divorced. I got to know Lucy and Desi, got to know them intimately at their homes. They had about four homes I uh, had one in Beverly Hills, one in Del Mar, one in Corona, one in Palm Springs. I even went to a Christmas and spent Christmas with Lucy and, and them um, one Christmas. And people think, well, I'd like to spend Christmas with Lucy, but, but really I would rather have spent with my parents and my, when I was a kid. Um, it was just a really interesting dynamic to see the biggest, one of some of the biggest stars in Hollywood see their lives, see their lifestyle be with them, and yet see so much unhappiness on, on the other side of it. Because uh, you know, people ask me, what, what do I think of that movie, you know, uh, that came out? And I said, well, not, I really can't connect with it, you know, because I was really part of that, you know. So it's hard for me to connect to those kind of things that people try to revisit. But uh, anyway, I was going to tell a story about my wife since Claiborne took such a long time <laughs> talking about his lovely bride of 30 years. I thought I'd just switch. Okay, is that enough talking about Hollywood for right now? All right. Just, just, this, just how I got out of Hollywood was my, my parents divorced, unfortunately. And uh, we moved back to Louisiana. And that's a whole other story. And that's how I met these guys and started playing with these guys. But um, playing rock and roll with these guys, I met my wife. 
Would you stand, darling? This is my wife of 46 years, Kathy. She is my best friend. She is my groupie. She is my, she is my next, she's my helpmate. He who finds a wife finds a what? Good thing. And favor. That's another thing we need to find from the Lord. Um, so I found favor when I met my, my wife. And um, how we got married, let me real quick and then I'll get out of this since I just feel like this is kind of a marriage conference or something here. <laughs> my, my, my wife and I, we, I, I became a Christian and uh, there's so much to tell, y'all. I just, it's just, it's too much. I have to write a book, which I did write a book. Uh, it was written in 1994. It's called Life After Lucy, if anybody wants to find out more about that. And it's, you can find it on Amazon. I don't have any more, but talk to Amazon about it. I, I don't have anything to do with Amazon. But, um, but how my wife and I got married was that I met her uh, at a David and the Giants concert in Jackson, Mississippi. And we started dating. And I'd become a Christian during this time. And the Lord saved me, delivered me, rescued me when I was on drugs. When I was at the, at the end of my life, um, I was suicidal. I was chronically, I was... Clinically depressed is what they call it now. And I heard demons in my head telling me to throw myself out of my car going 120 miles an hour down the interstate in my sports car. And uh, I was tormented by these things until I cried out to God one night in my waterbed in Laurel, Mississippi, in the middle of the night. And I said, God, I made such a mess out of my life because I was raised a Catholic and I left all my, all my, Ideas about God behind, long, Hollywood was gone, my life was, was over, I was sick, I was, I was disappointed, I was discouraged at my dad because he, he committed um, an unfaithful act upon my, uh, my mother and they got divorced and, and, and then we, we went on to do that. But I, I just made a mess of myself and, and, and I did everything that my dad did. You know, I ended up with the sex, drugs, and rock and roll thing that these guys all, were, we were all a part of that. And uh, came to the end of my rope one night in Laurel, in my waterbed, laying there. I said, God, I made such a mess in my life. Save me out of this mess that I made in my life, and I'll serve you. I said those words. I don't even know what I was talking about. You know, but I was just, I was just desperate. And, uh. Praise God. Uh, so two weeks later, my mother invited me to a meeting in Louisiana, and I got, um, I repented of my sins. I, 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 there was people in there. It was a Catholic charismatic meeting, and they were seeking the Lord. They were seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You know, because God, the Holy Spirit knows no boundaries, you know. You know, he really doesn't. And uh, he shows up anywhere. He was healing people of cancers, and they'd go out, and the Lord was healing them. And the Word of God was strong, and it just impacted me so much. I had a vision of Jesus, which I talk about in my book. And uh, he appeared to me as a light. And it was kind of like um, there was this person in the light, and this person I could tell in my spirit. You know how you could tell sometimes? You, you don't know, but you just know in your spirit. You know, you don't know mentally, but you know spiritually that this was Jesus Christ, or this was Jesus of Nazareth, the one who died 2,000 years ago. And, he, and I said, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to, to come into my life and, and, to, and to forgive all these sins. What about this sin? What about that sin? And the Lord said, that's the reason I died. He took our sins, our offenses on the cross. He took all, he felt those things. And then I said, Lord, because I felt so much love, and I felt more love than the whole universe could contain, I, I felt more power than the whole universe can contain in this light that was Jesus of Nazareth, the one that lived 2,000 years ago. But it was alive. And, and um, I said, are you really like this? Because I had thought that God was, was this God that was just ready to, when I did something wrong, he's going to come down with, hard on me. And, you know, living without Jesus, you're under a judgment. You are under judgment. But God's mercy is so great and his grace was so, was so strong in my life that I said, God, are you, Jesus, are you really like this? And he said three words. And then I kind of figured it out later when I started reading the Bible. He said, yes, 
I am. And then I kind of figured it out later on when, when I said, you know, you, know, you got to test these visions. you got to make sure they come from the Lord or not. And um, anyway, gave my life to the Lord, talked to these guys about changing the lyrics of the songs, making more godly uh, lyrics, staying with the same, you know, rock. Because I said, you know what, what? it's the spirit. It's, it's the words of the song that really matter. And um, it doesn't matter really what style it is. You know, you can have, you can like country, you can like western, you can like rock, you can like jazz, but it's the spirit of it. And so anyway, that happened, and um, I met my wife, and Kathy um, came into my life, and we started, I didn't, I, w- I was not going to church anywhere, it was just me, the Bible, and the Holy Spirit. And that's a good place to be, but yet it's a hard place to be, because you're you're around a lot of rock and roll people. You're around a lot of stuff, and you, and you get a you get a. I know I'm going all over the place with this, and it's hard to follow all this stuff. But but um, we we basically lived together for about three months. And uh, being a being a believer, I said, "Are you a believer?" And she said, "Yes." And but she was raised in a Methodist church, and but she really didn't have a born again experience with God, and. Um, so I said, well, look, you know, I, I feel like God wants me to marry you. I want, I want to marry you because she was a beautiful girl. And, <laughs> and so I said, let's just, let's just ask the Lord if we, need, if we should get married or not because we both came from broken homes. And um, I said, let's pray. And I said, I want you to open up the Bible. We had the living Bible, which was back in the 70s, the old green Bible. I said, go to the other side of the room and, and check that out. And um, we'll pray, and we'll pray and seek God, and then you open up the Bible, and whatever it says, we'll take it as what he wants us to do. Whatever that says, point, close your eyes, and point to a scripture. (laughs) Wow! (laughs) That's a big wow. Don't, I don't advise anybody to do that. (laughs) That's a a once-in-a-lifetime thing. So anyway... She was, she was at the other side, other side of the room. I, we, we prayed. We felt the Spirit of God. I said, what does it say? And I was like hoping. Hope it says something good. <laughs> Hope it says something positive, whatever. And she said, okay. Well, she opened her eyes and she pointed. To, I said, what does it say? It is I, Ruth, make me your wife according to God's holy laws. <laughs> it was in the book of Ruth. And it was the living Bible, so it was... It was translated, and it was in more, lang- more language, and that's, so we, we got married that night. We went to the Justice of the Peace <laughs> that night in Laurel, Mississippi. We've been married 46 years. We, uh, we are so blessed to, um, she, we have a dance ministry called Ballet Magnificat that, that uses dance for the kingdom of God. Go check it out. It's, 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 a, it's an amazing uh, ministry, and uh, we have an amazing daughter, Tara, one daughter and one grandson, Bryson, who turns eight this month. We'll see him in Phoenix. They live in Phoenix. We have an amazing uh, son-in-law as well, Bryce Drew, who is the uh, head basketball coach for Grand Canyon University. It's a great Christian college. If you ever want to go to college, that's the place to go. If I had to go to college somewhere, that's where I would be going. Uh, when I went to college, I went two years, and I majored in beer and drink, uh, or drinking beer and playing pool. That's what I majored in. So, um, but anyway, I'm blessed to have my wife up here tonight, 46 years. Love you, love you, love you, love you. What are we doing? What? I'm still rocking. Anybody else want to tell their story? <laughs> hey, I, I, I've heard, I heard things today that I hadn't heard before. So it's something about this congregation. You are special. I'm serious because... He usually gets in a hurry, and my brother Claiborne, and they, they usually get in a bigger hurry than what they've been today. But I loved it. I learned things that I never heard before. And I've been knowing them for a long time. I'm 
True story. When I gave my life to Jesus, all my smoking dope buddies said, Boy, you're going crazy. They came around and said, I'm going to give you three days. Came around three days later, said, Maybe I'll give you three weeks. It's been 45 years later. And I'm still a rocket for the rock. It was just a passing thing Said I was a crazy boy Changing my mind Been a long time So it's more than just a flea Take another look at me Between the lines Oh, 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 oh I'm still rocking oh, 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 I'm still rocking Let the sweet sound of music Keep on talking, yeah Trying to tell me I'm dancing to the wrong beat Grooving and I'm moving and I'm out of time I'm walking and I'm talking down the street and down the street Tapping and I'm singing everything is all right Oh, 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 oh still rocking oh, 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 I'm still rocking Let the sweet sound of music Keep on talking, yeah to help us sing it one time. Y'all ready? Here we go. To the wrong beat Grooving and I'm moving And I'm out of time I'm walking in the talking Down the street And now it's free Tapping and I'm singing Everything is so fine Oh, I'm still rocking Oh, I'm still rocking Let the sweet sound of music Keep on talking, yeah
on the road and I'm going home It won't be long till we stand and sing on the phone I'm gonna keep it traveling on I've come to farm and not turn around Get back Satan cause I'm heaven down get out of the way I'm gonna keep on moving on I'm on the highway, highway to heaven And I'm on the highway, highway of holiness, yeah Get off the road to hell Get on, get on the highway to heaven Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's rough But the joy of the Lord's mind sweet the as it nerve I'm gonna keep them moving on I've come to fall and I'm not turning around Get back Satan cause I'm heaven bound Get out of the way I'm gonna keep a traveling on And I'm on the highway Highway to heaven And I'm on the highway Highway of holiness Yeah Get off the road to hell Get on, get on the highway to heaven Get on the right of love Get on the road to heaven
just keep jumping on the drum. And I'm on the highway, highway to heaven. And I'm on the highway, highway of holiness. Yeah. Highway, highway to heaven. And I'm on the highway, highway to holiness. Yeah. Get off the road. Don't get on the highway to some praise y'all hallelujah the Bible says to praise him on the high sounding symbol we just got some of that up here hey y'all may be seated for the last song I want to introduce you to our other brother over here on the keyboards and I thank God for my other brother Rayburn Huff on the keyboards praise God so good to be in the house of the Lord, and I appreciate uh, this church. It's some great people here. I just Amen. met some wonderful people. And, uh, you know, God's does a great thing for his people. And, you know, when he brings you out, he brings you in. He brought us out of bondage into the marvelous light of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, back years ago, I was dating this girl. I went to, uh, she wanted to go to a movie, with and I went to a movie with her. I know a little later, Claiborne went to the same movie. Uh, but it was about, uh, it was about, uh, was the Catholic brother that uh, could pluck, you know, birds and stuff. Uh, what's his name? Look, Francis. Oh, Francis is my sister's. And we saw that movie. Brother, son, sister, movie was the name of the movie. And anyway, uh, in this movie, he became a Christian. And he made the girl like a sister. And I walked out of that place and I told my wife, not my wife, my girlfriend, I said to her, I said, you know, that's crazy. I said, no man can give up that. That was my view in life is I was so much part of the world that I was, we, I never was faithful to any girl that ever dated because we would go to different clubs, the groupies was always there and I always had some girls around me. And uh, bad life. You don't want that lifestyle, believe me. Uh, but you know, when we came to God, God showed me something that I said that he was going to prove that I could give up that thing. So he started speaking to me like my twin brother said, to give up to not get married. So Claiborne went, six, what, thir uh, I went 17 years, you went, uh, I went three more years past he did. And, uh, I had a prophet to call me, I had uh, two different people, a, pa a pastor called me, and all three of them said the same thing. They said, God has released you to get married. And I, didn't, I, I had to hear from God myself to hear that, so I got married in 95, and uh, married one of the greatest girls I could ever imagine. And she was a model. She was a, a great person, but she was also raised like uh, she was a Christian, and that's what I was looking for. And you know, uh, uh, I went through some sicknesses in my life where I had to have uh, two open heart surgeries that uh, uh, we had a chicken farm at one time. We lost the chicken farm. Thank God. <laughs> and uh, so when we did, you know, uh, some things happened to us. You know, uh, I went back making a living like I could. So she's got her job. So that's why she's not a lot of road road with us. And uh, she's, I got a daughter that we adopted, Zoe. 
And she's got a beautiful voice, so it's incredible. We've recorded an album of her, so uh, maybe some of these days you get to meet them. Uh, but uh, I, I always want to acknowledge that I am married, and I'm faithful now. Believe me, I'm faithful. I don't. I still wear this ring. I don't wear it just to have it on my finger. I wear it to show that I'm connected. But I'm connected first to the Lord of all things. It takes, you know, it takes something to come out of a world of sin. It takes up giving up your life. Unless you lose your life, you won't find life. You have to forsake all to follow the Lord. You can't say, well, I, I'm saved and still commit the same sins that you were committing before. You're still in the world if you are. And Jesus spoke something to me when I was walking my dog that I never heard preach. That's where we would get, got baptized. But he told me to go at all churches and tell people to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I never heard that preach. I was raised Baptist. But I heard his voice say that, go to all churches. But, you know, I come to the realization that people are baptized to religion and not to Jesus. Do you accept Jesus as your personal Savior? You're saved. Go about what's saved, always saved. That's how I was raised up. Yeah, we came to God. Praise God. You know what? God wants us to be one in Christ. He didn't come to start another denomination, but one church. This is what church. I wouldn't expect this church to be more than just what it is. But this is where God's led you. This is where you're at. And the only thing that you should know in your heart, that you're not baptized to this church, not to the pastor, but to the Lord Jesus Christ. You're separated by his blood. And as it was in the days of Noah, there was only one place that the people could be saved. And that was the ark of God. And if they didn't come through that door, when God shut that door, they were left out. And Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And he said also, I am the door. If you don't, he said, a thief and a robber will enter in another way. If you try to go in any other way except through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're a thief and robber. We have to come through the way God said and turn our faces back to the book of Acts to where the first church belonged. We don't belong to religion. We belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm trying to get people to, uh, as what the Lord said, to know something. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. <laughs> Noah! How long are you going to keep working on your boat, Noah? It's never going to rain. You had a bad dream, Noah. Come on down. No one, everybody's talking about you. No one, no one, haven't you better things to do? Many years we watched you here. Still you say the flood is near. Don't look like rain today. It's just another sunny day. Noah, you've been working for a long, long time. Noah, I believe in you have lost your mind. Come on down, the weather's fine. We'll live it up and drink some wine. Don't look like rain today. It's just another sunny day. Oh, you say in seven days it's gonna rain for forty days and nights. Who are you to 
tell me that I don't believe I'll have to see myself No, I You've really done it this time No, I Loading creatures of every kind Two by two you load them up While I drink another cup Don't look like rain today It's just another sunny day Oh, you're saying seven days It's gonna rain for forty days and nights Who are you to tell me that? I don't believe I'll have to see myself No, I'm Everybody's talking about you No, i Haven't you better things to do Come on down, the weather's fine We'll live it up and drink some wine Don't look like rain today It's just another sunny day Don't look like rain today It's just another sunny day just really, really feel that God has people here today 
that you need a touch from Him. Some of you, even though you're blessed, you're highly favored, you're going through some situation. I know that because we're just people. And we all sometimes go through the valleys, like the shadow, shadow of death valleys. But God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we're able to think or to ask. Can I also tell you that inside this sanctuary right now, there is a person that's a key to revival in this area. I really, really believe that. You're not serving God right now. I know. And I was once where you are. Think about it. Everybody here that knows the Lord, sit where you do right now. And we're pulling for you. And greater than that, the one that means the most is pulling for you. He knows what you've been going through. He knows the beginning to the end. He loves you so much that while you, me, were yet a sinner, he went and died. For the joy that was beset before him, he endured the sufferings. If he died for you, don't you know you can live for him? Hallelujah. Could we all stand while as we have a little piano? And, and now, during the next few minutes, my brother Claiborne, Keith, Rayburn, and myself, we're going to stand around these altars because there's needs here, and we're going to pray for you. And we're going to believe God for a miracle for you in your life today. Not tomorrow. Starting today is the best day of your life. Will you allow God to do that for you? Hallelujah. All over this place. If I could get the rest of the group to come right now. And I'd like to ask the pastor to please come. And floor, if you would. And we'll cut that off whenever it Hallelujah. Just pray, everybody, right now, all together. Oh, in Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. You need to receive ministry there down here in the front ready to minister to you. Don't wait. If you need ministry, come now. If you've never made Jesus Christ Lord and Savior of your life, come now. Make Jesus Lord. Thank you, Jesus. sanctuary lift your hands and let's participate here hallelujah we magnify you Jesus hallelujah oh what a great God you've done marvelous Marvelous things. Oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous things. Marvelous things. Oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous things. Marvelous. done. 
but marvelous things, marvelous things for me. What a life it has been serving you. I can't count all the times I've seen you move in supernatural power. When I release my faith, I'm standing in your presence, I am here to give you praise. Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Sing it with me Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things for me Looking back through the years You've remained the same Some things come and others go While you've never changed Your wonder-working power Your name above all names I'm gonna lift my voice And tell of your fame Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Sing now done marvelous things. Yes, he has. Marvelous things. Oh, oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous things. Marvelous things for me. How many can say the same? What a life. It has been just serving you. I can't count all the times I've seen you move with supernatural power. When I release my faith, I'm standing in your presence. I am here to give you praise. And oh. done marvelous things, marvelous things, oh, what a great God, you've done marvelous things, marvelous things, yes you have, oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous things, marvelous things. Oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous things, marvelous things for me. Looking back, through the years 
you remain the same some things come and others go you've never changed wonder working power the name above all names I'm gonna lift my voice and tell of your fame oh what a great God you've done marvelous things marvelous things oh You've done marvelous things, marvelous things. Sing it. Oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous things, marvelous things. Sing it. Marvelous things, 
supernatural power when I release my faith and I'm standing in your presence I am here to give you praise oh what a great God you've done marvelous things marvelous things Mom. 
marvelous thing Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Looking back through the years, you remain the same. Some things come and others go. Well, you've never changed your wonder working power, the name above all names. I'm gonna lift my voice and tell of you. What a life it has been Just serving you I can't count all the times I've seen you move Supernatural power When I release my faith I'm standing in your presence I'm here to give you Praise, oh, what a great God, you've done marvelous things, marvelous things, oh, what a great God, you've done marvelous things, marvelous things. Looking back through the years, 
you've remained the same Some things come and others go You've never changed Your wonder-working power The name above all names I'm gonna lift my voice And tell of your fame What a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things Oh done marvelous things, marvelous things, oh, what a great God, you've done marvelous things, marvelous things, come on, lift your hands and sing, oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous things, marvelous things. Oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous things, marvelous things. Oh, what a great God. You've done marvelous
for me Cause looking back through the years You remain the same Some things come and others go Well you've never changed Your wonder working power the name above all names I'm gonna lift my voice And tell of your fame Oh, what a great God You've done marvelous things Marvelous things to receive an offering for David and the Giants. Did they? <laughs> Hallelujah, did they? They're still rocking, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. And they're doing a good job of it, amen. Ushers, if you'll help me and distribute offering envelopes at this time, if you need an offering envelope, would you please raise your hand? They're going to get an envelope into your hand. We want to bless them abundantly for coming amen it's a lot of them to come out here to help us out to celebrate and to party so guys if you'll start please with the envelopes make your checks payable to integrity christian center or icc we will give them one check actually we're giving four but uh, <laughs> amen so make your check to icc you can give by cash of course you want to give by credit or debit card use the inside flap you can text to give, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, you name it, we have it. You can just uh, mark on there, you know, either Guess or David and the Giants, however you want to do it. Same with streaming. You can go to our website, integritytoday.org, or the information should be popping up on your screen, how to do the text to give or Cash App, so on. 
just designate that it's going to David and the Giants. And uh, we want to bless them for being such a blessing to us. So, amen. amen. Was that cool or, or what? Amen. I thought it was cool. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a way to kick off a 20-year celebration month. It was just, uh, I had a party. If nobody else did, I sure enjoyed myself. Amen. Thanks for coming to my party then if that's the way you're going to do it. But it was good. I sure enjoyed it. Amen. Hallelujah. I thought it was fun and cool, and it ministered. You know, we're doing a series on Friday nights about the holiness factor. So when you got them on the highway to heaven, then the highway to holiness, I thought, come on now, go ahead with that one now. Go ahead. That's where we're going on right now. Amen. Praise God. What a great day. What a great morning. Amen. Praise God. Ushers, come one more time. Place the offering container on the altar. And then when you're ready with your offering for David and the Giants, please come forward, present it to the Lord, and then we're going to pray over your giving, pray over them, and then we're going to pray a prayer of dismissal to you. You guys have product in the back as well, do you not? So, man, you've got to get a hold of this music and take it home. Uh, do you want to talk about the new one that drops uh, in the next day or two? Okay, go to davidhuff.com. You can get downloads for all their music, but there's a new uh, album that is outstanding. You haven't heard it yet. I have. It's outstanding. You need it. Make sure you get it. Uh, it is awesome stuff. So go to davidhuff.com and, uh, you know, just get all the albums. Why, why not just get all of them while you're there? I mean, it'll help you. It'll do you good. You know how I've taught you about it's important to have a spiritual survival kit, just like you'd have a natural survival kit. You, you, need, you know, when the storms of life come against you or whatever, you've got to have something that you go to, verses you go to, scriptures you stand on. And, you know, I, I have those kind of things, but there's, just, there's one particular song that is in my spiritual sur survival kit, and it's a David Huff song. It's called My Song of Praise. And so, man, when the battle's tough or whatever, man, plug the earphones in, volume goes to 10, or whatever it goes to, it goes as far as it'll go. I don't know why they don't go to 11, because I'm more of an 11 kind of guy. Uh, and I'll go over that song dozens of times until it, you know, just... So you need uh, this kind of stuff for you, too. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for coming. Thank all of you for coming and blessing us. It was an awesome day. Amen. Stand with me, if you will. Father, first of all, thank you that we have the opportunity to sow seed into these ministers of the gospel. And I thank you, Father God, that you will reward us just as you would when we sow into any other form of the gospel. So I'm asking for the people to be blessed abundantly for the seed that they're sowing. But we also pray a blessing on David and the giants, the whole band, their families, children, grandchildren, touch every life, let revival break forth from them, through them, everywhere they go. Let them be a light, a beacon that shines brightly to, the, to people in every, not only the churches, but the people who, the lost people who come into those churches and hear them and meet them and come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, as they did, as we have. We are grateful for what you're doing in them, but we know the best is still to come. It's just ahead in Jesus' name. Time is short, and I thank you that you're moving abundantly through this ministry of David and the Giants. And I thank you, Father, for these people. Oh, we are celebrating 20 years, and I'm just asking you, Father, to show yourself strong on the Congregation of Integrity Christian Center, not only the month of May, but till the trumpet sounds. We're going to walk in favor and health and healing and blessing and prosperity. We're going to be soul winners. Amen. We're going to be a light to a dark world. We're going to be doers of the word and not hearers only. In Jesus' name. Now, I plead the blood of Jesus over your people. I thank you that your angels surround about them and keep them safe, that in their pathway is life and no death. In Jesus' name, amen. Call you blessed. You're dismissed. God bless you.